Hi, it's me, Dr. Lee, and thank you for watching Dreams and Visions in Christ. This is part 27, and I'm almost to my goal to the end of June, so I'm excited. I didn't know if I was going to be able to pull this off or not, but um, thanks to God, the Holy Spirit, Jesus, the Trinity that I made it thus far, so hopefully I'll be able to make it to the end and I will be let's see that'd be what 30 parts um, to dreams and vision in Christ so I'm excited and of course as most of these videos it's like the wee hours of the morning and but you know sacrifice is everything so um, well obedience is better than sacrifice but sacrifice um, I'm learning that you have to sacrifice things um, in your life and things that, you know, to, to get whatever you need to get done for the Lord, for for Christ. Sacrifice. So, I'm sacrificing here to get this done because I feel that to do it. But part 27, um, let's see, I have it called The Fence. Oh, and like I said, this is my birth month. It's almost to the end. And... I'm excited. Another birthday outfit. It's a dress. You can't really see it, but my husband got it for me. Um, another gift. He always give me a gift, like I said, in other videos. But um, for every day of the um, the month of June. So this has um, been a blessing. It's giving me something to wear different for the different episodes. So that works. So Romans 8 and 28, all things work together for the good, the those that love the Lord. So, got to use everything. So, defense. Um, as your defense, um, I had two dreams um, about uh, defense. And I'm going to use Proverbs 7 and 2. And it says, keep my commands and you will live. Guard my teachings as, as the apple of your eye. And that's from the NIV. Proverbs 7 and 2 says, Keep my commands and you will live. Guard my teachings as the apple of your eye. And I actually have that scripture posted on my wall. That's one of the scriptures I have posted on my wall. So um, I can um, aim to read it every day. And to remind me of to, to guard the Lord's teaching. And keep them as the apple of my eye. So... If you know what apple, apple of a person I is, I mean, that explains it, explains it all. Um, so with the, the, um, the, um, dream, um, I use that scripture because it's talking about a fence and a fence is like garden. And so keeping some as the apple, your eyes like guarding it and, um, you know, you treasure it and you think a lot of it and it, you know, possibly, you know, the love of your life and, just however you think of apple your eye, but most of the time I have ever heard it, it's always been in a positive, um, a positive way. So that's what um, I use that scripture because in this dream I had to dream about a fence. So dream, um, the first dream I had, uh, I'm going to give, I'm change the name, and uh, Lisa. Um, I know Lisa, I've been knowing Lisa for some years now, and I had a dream that Lisa was, I was in my mother's house and I was looking at my mother's out my mother's kitchen window and my mother has a fence in her backyard like a, a fence out there and I can look out the kitchen window and see um, the the fence and with the fence you have the, you know the entry the entry the entryway that you can open like open the fence open the gate or however and Lisa was standing there and she was like she was debate if she should open this fence or not like she should open it and like right behind her was like her sister-in-law and her sister-in-law was standing there her sister-in-law um is a minister and she was um standing there and almost like she was waiting to see what she was going to do or maybe support you know i don't know but i'm in the kitchen window i can see how this is going on and Lisa's there, like, debating she should open the gate. And then, like, she started to open this, like, fence, open uh, open it. And when she started to open it, whatever that was on the other side, I couldn't see it. It was dark. It was dark outside. But I could see them. And 
I could see like who or what was on the other side. And when she started to open it, but she really wasn't sure if she should open it. Whatever on the other side started to push in. And then that's all I all, all I dream. And so anyhow, I saw dream. I was like, I don't know what that means. Maybe she's about to open some kind of fence or some kind of gate in her life that she shouldn't, you know, do because it's like she really was debating if she should open this open this fence or not and let whatever in or go out. I don't know what she was gonna do, but so um I I told Lisa the the, the dream when I saw I thought about the dream I saw her and um, she looked as if, you know, it probably didn't have any meaning or much meaning or whatever. I mean, she really didn't say one way or the other, but I'm just looking at my, the vibes or whatever. And so she just had like this puzzled look on her face or whatever, but, um, which was fine with me. Cause I know with dreams and visions, you don't know if they, they're happening now or if it's something in the past or if it's something that's going to come in the near future or in the further future. I, you know, you just don't, don't know unless God tell you. So, um. With um, next thing I know, I don't remember if it was a month later, a couple of weeks later, or what it was. But I had uh, another dream about Lisa. But this time, Lisa and I, I was there. And I was in the room with Lisa, and Lisa's husband was there. Lisa's daughter was there, and my husband was there. And um, all of a sudden, you know, I can see Lisa's husband with a checkbook in his hand, and he had a checkbook like the checkbook and a pen in his hand, like you know, like he was. You know, I'm the person writing a check. And Lisa, just like, she got really mad and upset. And she just stormed out. She stormed out of the um the room. And when she got up, Lisa's daughter followed behind her, too. And all of a sudden, when they walked out, all I noticed then is, like, the room changed. Like, we changed and everything changed when Lisa got mad and walked out. And her daughter followed. Um, the next thing I know... Um, is that like it's like we're outside and it's me and Lisa um, husband and we start walking through this um, this fence and when we um, got to the um, through the fence behind the fence was a, a bulldozer like a you know the, the yellow bulldozer like you dig and, um, um, I guess like kind of like John Deere but John Deere is not yellow for us I know it's like um, I can't bobcat, maybe it's yellow, but it was a, a bull, we call them bulldozer. I guess that's the real name of them, but you dig like holes or cover things up or whatever. And so, and so, and I woke up from the dream and I was like, I woke up and of course I told my husband and I was like, you think they, they're okay? You know, their husband and wife, you know, they're very good loving people. You know, that was just, cause she was so upset in the dream. And my husband was like, yeah, they, they're, 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 they, they, they probably fine. You know, you know, that's just an odd dream. No, and he, he didn't say it was Audrey, but the dream was kind of odd. But it was a second dream that I had with a fence and Lisa in it. And so I didn't think um, any more about it. But um, I ran into, um, I, I saw I saw Lisa and her husband. You know, I probably saw him a couple times. I didn't even think about the dream. And so um, one day my uh, husband got the um, idea to swing by their house. And we hadn't been to their house in I don't know. I hope it's been a year, two years, three years, but it had been a long time. And he was like, let's go and um, swing by the house. Uh, he was going to check out this item they had for sale. He said, we can check it out. You know, we may make it, um, you know, get this item and, yeah, high and blah, blah, blah. So anyhow, so we, uh, we uh, called, I think we called him until he was coming by the house. And we went to the house. And um, when we got to the house, and we decided to talk, you know, talking, laughing, having a good time, fellowship. And then all of a sudden, the dream came back. Um, tell me and what sparked the dream was because i told lisa the first dream i didn't tell her the second dream so what sparked the dream was when i looked up i saw a fence you know and the fence probably been there forever you know but when you don't go to people's house much you don't notice a lot of stuff and if you go sometimes you go at night you know you just don't know so it was a fence but what really made the dream like come at to me like this it was a bulldozer behind the fence just like in the dream. And I looked and I said, is that you all's property you're over there? You know? And when I said that, Lisa said, yes. Like, looked at me like, why? And I was like, I had a dream. I had a dream about you all. And I said, the dream. And I told her the dream about how she was angry and walked out. And um, and they have ended with a bulldozer. 
And then that's when Lisa went to explain it. She was like, oh, you you right, you right. She said, she said, oh, I was so angry. I was upset. She was basically saying she was so upset with her husband. She was like, that they they had to cover the um, the pool or something like that and or um, or fix it or something I don't know something with insurance in the pool and she wanted to have a a, a grill a cookout thing something make it to a patio and he didn't want I guess he didn't want to spend the money to do it or do it I don't know but she was like yeah she said Ooh, I was mad I was angry she said I was so upset you know. And so she said, but you see, basically she was saying that we're going to do it the way that she wanted it done up the higher. So it was just kind of, um, it was kind of just interesting that that bulldozer happened to be there the day that my husband decided to go there. And it wasn't, they weren't working, they had left the bulldozer, they were going to come back and finish or something or, or complete it. I don't know if they bought that day or the next day. It just happened to work out that the day I come, the bulldozer behind the fence. I told my husband, wow. I said, do you remember that dream? He was like, oh, but yes, I remember that with the bulldozer. I was like, and it was like, almost like excitement because it caught me off guard because I wasn't expecting to see a fence or bulldozer or even expecting to go to the house. Like I said, it was, you know, I can, it was just shocking. But with that, like I said, all this is like, if you're having dreams and visions and anything in Christ or whatever it is that God is doing in your life, it's going to be a constant learning, constant sacrifice, constant study, constantly seeking God's face. It just doesn't stop. You know, you, you just you just don't get so good at it. You don't, you know, you're not trying to grow near to, uh, to, to, to Christ. So that um, dream, like I said, was the fence. It was actually two. And the fence was also in the, the first dream and in the the. The, the second um, the second dream both of them were with fence but the second one had the bulldozer around it so with um that I would say the dream was um the, the people that I dream about was it was like direct exact it was about a fence it had a bulldozer there I just didn't know you know all I saw was the is the, the problem with the fence and the check and the money you know that you know maybe like I said the the um the you know, money like oh no we shouldn't spend money like this or maybe you know whatever it, it was going on but with that dream it was like more like God you know showing showing me show me that this you know that this gift I have is real you know like oh you know when you know stuff in people's lives that you know you had no way you know no way I know about you know friends I don't even, like I said I've probably been to the people house maybe once or twice before the end of my lifetime but it was just interesting how it all manifests itself so with um dreams and visions they could possibly like I said happen in two or three weeks a week a month a year you know you just don't know all you know is that you have to keep seeking God you have to keep making sure you're hearing um the Lord and studying and um because there's so many other things that's demonic and stuff that can trick you up and give you stuff so don't ever get too big headed like you're so smart and so deep remember that it's it's this this is this is God doing and it's not you doing so with that Take our stuff. Do it like I said. What was Proverbs 7 and 2? Just um, keep his commands and you will live. And God is teaching us the apple of your eye. And just do that. And just keep doing that and keep pressing forward. And just let, just say, God, let him, let his Holy Spirit manifest in your life. And in your dreams and your visions. And so if you hadn't had any, if you had one, well, whatever God gives you, cherish it. And just seek him. Seek his face. And as always, thank you for watching. Um, I'm Dr. Lee. And let go, let God, and keep it moving. Take care.